Hello, welcome on board again today, my wonderful viewers. Today we are going to be looking at how to arrange our tracks for a non-stop DJ mix automatically. Very simple concept, not like those old days where you have to be adjusting indiv individual tracks manually, you have to be cracking your brain and be battling with it. Today, Future DJ has made very simple and straightforward. I'm going to be showing you from my screen right now how we will do that. You are going to see it in a practical demonstration. With just some few clicks, imagine you have a track load of tracks in your DJ software that you just downloaded that you really want to work on maybe the next day on your DJ mix. Maybe you are preparing for a party or you are preparing for any event of your choice or you are trying to make a DJ mix that you want to give to somebody or sell to somebody. Let's see how to get it done now. So first, this is our folder. This is our individual folder here. The virtual DJ is very unique, very simple to use. These are the individual folder I have here. Irrespective of how you can locate it, it's very simple. Try from a local disk, look at it. You close click on it or your desktop by the time you click it will list the individual folder for you. So you pick the particular folder where you have your track tracks in inside, whether it's music or downloads or whatsoever. In my own case is this very one. I click it. When you click it, you will see that your tracks are shown here everywhere. These are the list of the title and other features that you want to work along with. If you don't want to remove or if you don't want any of these features, you can remove it. You can add and as well as remove. Let me show you how you do it. Come to the top navigator here where you have this individual element showing here. You right click on it you see the individual element you have here you pick any one of your choice in this case we are going to be working with the bpm that is why it's checked we are going to be working with the length and some few other elements like the title and the artist or maybe if you are the type that you want to sort a bios on general like somebody asks a question somewhere you pick it too when we pick it you see the general is also added here so if the metadata of the track has general it automatically arrange it based on the general for you here so let's today we'll be dealing with the BPM for now. Let's see how to do it. So after having after assessing your track from this particular folder, you click on one, then you highlight all. By the time you highlight all, that is Control A. You right click on it, any field around the environment. You will now pick this particular analyze BPM. That means by the time you click it, give you some few minutes it will do the analysis for you and bring out the BPM of each of the tracks. By the time it brings it out, you see that everything will be under this BPM here. Look at it. 120, 121 is arranged on ascending order. That means from the lowest value, it's going to be continuous. So by the time you click on this one, it's going to be either on ascending order or descending order. So this one will give you that individual element for you to see. So in this case, we are playing one particular track. This is the track we are playing here, which is Son Kirarua. This is it here. It's a house song, don't worry, we are just test running it. So we want to get another track that is close to it, so that by the time we are blending it for the BPM, it's going to flow naturally well. So this feature is very good, very simple. It gives you the opportunity to blend tracks very simply, very simple, in a very unique way, through the BPM, or even through the genre. But in this case, we are dealing with the BPM, so it's going to synchronize it very easy for us by the time we just load it on the second deck. Then you will see how we we'll do it now. So it's for those who want to do just whether DJ mix or whatsoever you have, creating that bond between the two tracks to make it flow smoothly. So let me toggle my keyboard on for now so that you see it. So don't worry, we have loaded it on the deck. Look at it, it's there already. So by the time we select it, I use shift tap. That is shift spacebar to synchronize in my own case so if you are using my mapping this is a bonus for you just shift space it automatically synchronize this drag this track that is a track that is playing now with this one so from here we we'll increase the volume so this is it Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> 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 
So don't forget to keep a date and check the channel for more and expect more as I will be bringing you more future that the individual DJ has to offer. Don't worry, just keep it there. I will also make a video to explain some. Maybe you are confused on which DJ software to pick in the next future. Don't worry, I will be bringing that to you too. So keep a date and let's get the fire. Okay, 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 okay.